All right, so we're gonna paint with tempera paint today. And um, I got a little water on my paper and that's what those marks are, but they're not gonna show up once my paper dries, so I'm not gonna worry about it. The first thing that you need to do is write your name on the back of your paper. So I'm gonna write mine right now, just on the corner there. Um, but you're gonna write it on the back and then flip it over. So what you're gonna do is use tempera paint, that's these liquid paints today. And you're gonna paint like Alma Thomas or be inspired by Alma Thomas, I should say, to create your own painting. And we're using these bright colors. If you wanna mix them, you have some blank spaces here that you can mix colors in, but please make sure to rinse your brush anytime you switch colors. You can see that that one has a little bit of other paint in it, not too much, so it should be okay. But if you don't rinse your brush really well, that's what's gonna happen. Your, all of your paints are gonna get mixed up. So you can start, if you're not sure what to do, you can do a radial design by starting with just one color and putting it in the middle, like a dot. And then you wanna switch colors. You're gonna rinse, rinse, rinse. One, Mississippi two, Mississippi three, Mississippi four, Mississippi five. And then wipe it on the side of your cup. And then I'm gonna switch my colors. I'm gonna go grab some yellow. And this would be a radial design where we have it going out and out. See, my colors are mixing a little bit on my paper and I think it looks really pretty. That's okay if it mixes a little bit on your paper. You just don't wanna mix them in the palette, in the paint tray, okay? So let's say that I did wanna mix some colors in my paint tray, like I wanted to mix my yellow and my blue. I have some yellow on my brush already, so what I'll do is just kinda of scoop some yellow over into a new tray. And then I can rinse my brush. I can grab some blue, put it over here, and I can mix up a green, which is really similar to that green, actually. I'll go ahead and put some green around mine. So this is a radial design. You could fill your paper all the way to the edges of your paper doing a radial design, but you could also change it up. Some of Alma Thomas's paintings were more like landscapes, so you could do that too. Say I wanna mix a light blue, I could scoop up with a clean brush some white. And then with a clean brush, scoop up some blue and mix them together. And there I have a light blue. So I could use that maybe if I wanna have a shape that goes around the outside of this. So what I want you to do today is use your paint to paint your entire paper. You can do radial design or something else, but I want you to stick with nice um, solid areas of color. So. Next time, what we're gonna do is glue colored paper on top of these areas. So I'd glue red on top of my red, glue yellow on top of my yellow, glue green on top of my green, glue blue on top of my blue. So I want you to try and keep all of your colors separate on the paper. Even if you mix a new color, just kind of keep it separate from the other colors. So we have a bright pop, pop, you know, pop full of color painting at the end. Thank you. All right, this is my finished painting. So I painted the whole paper all the way up to the four edges and I tried to make sure that I kept you know each area its own color so yellow purple blue orange um, and you can do a radial design or you can do other designs it's up to you and of course while I was painting I kind of got some paint on the edge of the table it's hard to paint the edge without getting on the table um, but that's why we have sponges so when you're all done I want you to make sure that your name is on your artwork and you're gonna put it in the drying area. And then I want you to get a sponge, squeeze it out after you get water on it so you don't make a puddle, and you're gonna clean your work area. After that, you can free draw.